All right, so we're going to be looking at uh, task 18J in this video. Okay, so uh, the question says that we should open the file that we saved at the end of task 18I. The manager would like to see all the details of all the cars made by Ford or Vauxhall. So now take note of that or there. Okay, okay so we'll go ahead to do that. Now, um, I'm not going to build on this 18i. I'm going to create a fresh um, um, query. Okay, so I'm going to be fast here. So in case if you don't want, if you if you cannot uh, cope, you can just go and watch um, task 18h and i. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead to create query and uh, query wizard of course. Okay, that and then the query must be based on uh, task 18c, please. As cars underscore task 18c, it depending on how you saved yours, okay? So, but it has to be based on uh, task 18c. So, I'm going to have all the rec all the um, fields in here, but I'm going to remove, um, of course, PD because I don't really need it for it for that. So, I'm going to go forward and then next. Um, so here I'm going to modify the name just to remember that I did that for task 18j so i'm going to say a query task 18j something like that 18j just to remember that is for 18j all right which and the, the 18c refers to the table which i created the query you know something like that all right so you can choose whatever you want to do all right so uh i'll modify that finish okay so um from the question we are meant to we are meant to actually um um query the database in such a way that we're gonna uh the, the manager wants to see uh, details of all the cars made by ford or Vauxhall. so what we're gonna do here is first of all let's go back to let's go back to our our you know our our data sheet view so we can see how what is here okay now the make of the cars we can we have T, uh, TVR, Mercedes-Benz, Toyota, BMW, and all whatnot. So all the manager wants to see is simply Vauxhall and Ford. Okay. So let's hit the let's hit the um the query. Okay. So we go down to the make. Okay. To the make um field and make sure that we write Ford. Okay. Or Vauxhall. Make sure you get the spelling, the spelling is right. So as you click enter, you find out the uh, what's it called, the quotation mark or something, double quotation or something, has been um, added for you here. So we we'll run the query and find you will find out that uh, on the make field we have only the cars that are made uh, by Ford and Vauxhall. Okay, um, I hope I pronounce that Vauxhall. So if I don't, I don't know whether it's the French word or English word. I don't know. All right, so um, when you perform uh, this uh, query, you're supposed to have 37 records. So if you don't have 37 records, you please you can go back and watch the other videos, okay? So all the links of the other videos are down below. So you can just go ahead to watch them just to be sure that your query is right, okay? So this is about that. So uh, there's another way you can, uh, there's another way you can um, uh, write this query, okay? So instead of writing Ford or Vauxhall, you can choose to write Ford. So make sure you are always you are at the criteria uh, row, and then you can write Ford here, and then and then go down to all. So there's this all here. So it's, so you're taking that all. So the all the all row, you can write Vauxhall there. Always mind your spellings, okay? Because if your spelling is is wrong, your query automatically will be wrong, okay? Okay, so we run that query, and then of course we're going to get the same 37 records. Okay, so and that's a very those are various ways we can do that. Um, if you have any other way you can do that, please you can leave a comment below, and I'll be very glad to also learn that. Okay, so that is that for task 18J. Okay, so um, thank you very much. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel comment and please share all right thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video